Imagine having endless creative possibilities. Endless amounts of canvases, millions of colors to work with, and always being able to go back at an earlier stage in your process. And imagine never having to limit yourself as a creator. And now imagine having a tool that works as that missing link between you and your full potential as you're becoming a digital creator. And here's the best part. We don't have to imagine anymore. The future has become the present. We live in a digital age where we as digital creators never have to limit ourselves again. My name is Nadja Axel and for the next 20 minutes I will be your host. I am here today to give you a perspective from a digital creator who managed to turn digital art into my livelihood. I want you to be inspired. I want you to be excited to start or continue to create digitally. And with XP Pen, I want to introduce some tools that can help you bridge that gap between wanting to and actually doing. But before we move on, allow me to introduce myself. As I mentioned, my name is Nadja Axel and I am from Denmark, a tiny little country just north of Germany. I'm a 100% self-taught artist and I've been a professional digital artist and YouTuber for the past four years. I like to draw characters and to tell stories. I mainly create fantasy and science fantasy inspired artwork and I make comics, experiment with animation in form of animatics and animated comics. And of course I entertain and teach digital art on my YouTube channel Nadia Axel. In 2018, I started to upload videos on my YouTube channel. In the beginning, it was just speed paints, also known as drawing time lapses. But eventually I started moving on and got into a bit of tutorials, mainly focused around digital art. One of my earliest digital art tutorials on YouTube was a beginner's guide to become a digital artist. And it has almost 3 million views today. That's nuts. <laughs> Since then, my YouTube channel has grown to almost 300,000 subscribers from the entire world. Besides YouTube, and being a content creator, I also work as a freelance illustrator. I just love to draw, but I also love to share my knowledge with people who could find it useful. And I like to put a big smile on people's faces and all of that kind of comes together on my YouTube channel. Actually, looking back into my childhood, I'm not really surprised that I would end up on YouTube. I've always been fascinated with cameras and computer technology since I was very young. And when YouTube first launched back in December of 2005 and I stumbled upon this phenomenon called digital painting, that was it. <laughs> It was like a little light bulb just turned on above my head and I couldn't turn it off. Back then though, there wasn't much info to be found on digital art and drawing programs and stuff like that. So getting started with digital art was actually a very, very steep learning curve. I tried a bunch of different drawing tablets through my youth and teenage years, but I never really found that one thing that made it really natural for me. So I always resorted back to doing just traditional artwork. But I was so in love with this medium, I just kept pushing forward. Until approximately 10 years ago when I made a big investment and got my very first drawing monitor. And that changed everything for me. Finally, I found a match. That missing link between me and the computer that felt more like an extension of myself rather than an obstacle to overcome. From then on, I finally considered myself a digital artist. Fast forward six years from then and I'm quitting my full-time job to pursue my dream in becoming a full-time digital artist and YouTuber. The most exciting and nerve-wracking decision I ever made, but I don't regret any second of it. It is definitely one of the most important and best decisions I made for myself in my entire life. And all of that because I found love and purpose in creating digital art with a display tablet. And throughout all of these years, since 2005, when I first stumbled upon this phenomenon, the market for graphics tablets has exploded. New models come out every year and the technology advances so incredibly fast, it can be quite overwhelming trying to navigate through that whole jungle. Which is why I'm super happy to be here today with XP Pen. Three years ago, I tried and reviewed my first XP Pen product on my YouTube channel. And since then, XP Pen's products have been permanent residents in this household. In fact, the tablet that I reviewed back then was the Artist 12, a predecessor to the Artist 12 second gen that I'll be looking at with you guys today. So whether you're just drawing for fun, working with logos in Illustrator, 
doing your magic in Photoshop or editing video, doing animation or aspire to become a professional digital artist, a graphics tablet is a must-have companion. The precision you acquire from using a pen tablet instead of a mouse can drastically improve your workflow and efficiency when working. And I'm saying that from personal experience. You have all of these fully customizable shortcuts right at your fingertips and it only requires a computer or in some cases just a compatible smartphone to get started with a drawing tablet. XP Pen provides a tablet for every type of creator and every kind of needs. Whether you like to work on the go or prefer to stay by the same desk every day, whether you're into iOS, Android, Windows and even Linux, there is an XP Pen tablet for your needs. Let's take a look at two different kinds of tablets from XP Pen, the Artist 12 second generation and the Artist 24 Pro. The Artist 12 second generation introduces a new chapter of portable display tablets. With the Artist 12 second gen, you'll get everything you need in the box for the initial setup, like connection cables and a stylus. You also receive a black drawing glove as well as what seems like a lifetime's worth of extra pen nibs, a dust remover cloth and of course a quick guide for setup. You can also choose to get a USB-C to USB-C cable which is sold separately. With a USB-C cable you don't need anything else to get started and I was also super lucky to get my hands on this cute daily purr drawing glove with cute kittens on it. Looking closer at the quick guide, you can see the different connection options. My laptop supports connection through USB-C, so this was the best setup option for me. If your computer does not have a USB-C port, don't worry, with the tablet you'll get the 3 in 1 connection cable, which only requires your computer to have two available USB-A ports, where one of them must provide power to the tablet, as well as one available HDMI port. The Artist 12 second gen is super easy to set up. Simply connect it to the computer with the desired cables, download and install the driver from XP Pen's website, restart your computer and that's it, you are now ready to create. The driver which you use to set up shortcuts and calibrate your tablet and so on is very easy to navigate and to use. It is also inside the driver that you can rotate your display if you're left-handed or simply prefer to work in a vertical format. Let's also do a quick rundown of the specs. The Artist 12 second gen is equipped with an 11.9 inch monitor which displays a full HD 9020 by 1080 resolution. The display is fully laminated which means you do not have a double screen on your tablet so the parallaxing which is also known as the distance between the screen and the stylus is minimal and you get much more accuracy so drawing digitally feels like a very natural drawing experience. The colors on the Artist 12 second gen look absolutely stunning with a white color gamut of 127% sRGB. The Artist 12 second gen comes with 8 fully customizable shortcut keys. You can customize your shortcut keys to behave differently depending on the software that you're working in so that you can simplify your workflow and speed boost your productivity. One of the strengths of the Artist 12 second gen is actually the stylus itself. This stylus is equipped with an X3 smart chip building on technology only used by leading tablet manufacturers in the field. The previous stylus design detected pressure through an inner spring mechanism. The tip would move up and down when being used, which would cause some sense of wobbliness sometimes. The X3 smart chip gives the stylus an improved sensor structure, reducing the retraction distance to 0.6mm, resulting in a steady brush stroke without wobble and practically no parallaxing at all. It does feel very natural to draw on the Artist 12 second gen and you'd simply have to try it for yourself to know what I mean. The pen also supports 60 degrees of tilt and offers 8192 pressure levels so you can really make some variations in your line work when you're drawing. And per industry standard, the pen is of course battery free so it never needs to be charged. And the stylus also has two buttons that are also fully customizable from the driver. So it's no secret that the Artist 12 second gen is on the smaller side in terms of pen display tablets out there, but that makes it an excellent travel companion. 
If you have a laptop or a compatible smartphone, that's all you need to hook up the Artis 12 and start creating on the go. You can bring it to your school, your workplace, your friend's house, or just enjoy a nice change of scenery drawing people at the local coffee shop. And if you're working remotely and want to save power on your device, you can control the tablet screen brightness on the buttons located just below the power button. One detail, and to some people it might be a small detail, but something that I really appreciate a lot is the fact that XP Pen offers some of their models in multiple colors. Personalization and custom branding actually weighs much more than you'd think, especially for creators with an online presence who have a whole theme building up around a brand, and for people who simply love to express themselves. The Artist 12 second gen also works as a secondary monitor, and with the AC18 stand you can set your tablet up to a 65 degree viewing angle. You'll have full control over the angle of the stand as you control it in 1 degree increments, so you can adjust it to your preferred work style. And for those hot summer days where your hand starts to stick to the tablet, you can use a drawing glove such as this one to maintain that smooth movement on your display tablet. The glove also helps to keep your tablet a bit cleaner throughout the rest of the year. As a digital creator today, it is essential to have some sort of graphics tablet. Whether you're an illustrator, a graphic designer, a 3D artist or even a traditional artist. I've been a digital artist for more than 10 years and in one way or another, whether I was doing art, instruction videos, graphic design or even game development, I can't imagine not working on a tablet. Even back when I didn't have a display tablet, I would bring my old pen tablet to school just to have something. My tablets have always been aiding me in one way or another, sometimes in a direct way when I needed to, for instance, sketch down an idea I got, or sometimes more indirectly when I was just in need of a secondary monitor for my work. I'll always recommend getting any sort of pen tablet or not having one at all, but I will personally always prefer to have a pen display tablet. I'm just one of those people who feel some sort of unexplainable disconnect from my hand to the monitor when I'm drawing without a display on the tablet. My eyes have to be where my hands are when I draw, and that problem got solved the day I started using a display tablet. So if you can recognize that feeling and you're struggling with digital art on a regular tablet, I'd say that a tablet with a display might solve your problems like they did mine. Personally, I just think it feels more natural. And it has never been easier to bring your creativity with you wherever you go, which is one of the things I really love about the Artist 12 second gen. It is super convenient to just bring it with you and work from everywhere. Especially if you work with a USB-C connection, because it only requires that one cable to work from any location. You can even use the Artist 12 second gen with a compatible smartphone and draw whenever inspiration strikes you. Some smartphone models are better compatible than mine though, and actually extends the display onto the entire monitor. But I found that this worked fine for me as well. You can always check out compatible smartphone models on XP Pen's website. But maybe portability isn't that important to you, maybe you actually prefer to work a bit bigger. Or maybe you're like me, it's really nice to have something that's small and convenient to bring with you on the go, but at home or at your workspace you want that killer setup. In which case the Artis 24 Pro might be a bit more up your alley. The Artis 24 Pro is XP Pen's first 23.8 inch drawing monitor with a 2K Quad HD display. So, it arrives in this massive box, so big, I had to clear my dinner table to make room for an unboxing. Like before, with the Artis 24 Pro, you get all the cables necessary to set it up and use it right away. With the Artis 24 Pro, you even get that USB-C cable with the tablet, so there's no need to buy it separately. You also get a black drawing glove, 8 extra pen nips, a cleaning glove and an additional stylus. And since this is a massive tablet, it is going to require its own power source, which you also get with the tablet. The Artist 24 Pro is quite heavy, so I suggest getting something like the XP Pen desk pad to protect your table from the weight of the tablet. The desk pad is reversible and features two different colors. 
Setting up the RTX 24 Pro was as painless as the RTX 12 second gen. Choose what connection to set it up with, I went with the HDMI and USB-A options since my stationary computer currently does not support USB-C. But you can choose to only connect through a USB-C cable and the power source. If your computer does not support USB-C, you should instead have one available USB-A port, one available HDMI port, as well as a regular power outlet for the tablet. The driver for the Artist 24 Pro looks the same as for the Artist 12 second gen, easy to install and very intuitive to use. The main difference is that you have these dial shortcuts on the Artist 24 Pro that you can customize as well. I use the left one to increase or decrease my brush size as I'm drawing. The RZ24 Pro cannot be physically rotated because it comes with a pre-installed stand, but you have 10 customizable shortcut keys as well as a dial on the other side so that you can use it whether you're left or right-handed. As I mentioned, the RZ24 Pro comes with a 2K Quad HD display measuring 2560 by 1440 pixels. Specifically, the display is 23.8 inch big. I used to draw on the XP Pen 22R Pro with a 21.5 inch display, which only had a full HD resolution. And I must admit that it is definitely a different experience having that upgrade in resolution on the Artist 24 Pro. You have so much more room for all of your different panels, tools and references. So if you're going for a drawing tablet with a bigger display than 16 inches, I will actually recommend getting one with at least a 2K Quad HD display, such as the Artus 24 Pro. One of the features I really love about XP Pen's bigger display tablets is the USB hub you can find on the back. You get two USB-A ports that you can use for any of your USB-powered devices as long as the tablet is powered on. Along the top edge of the Artus 24 Pro, you'll find the touch-sensitive buttons used to power the tablet on and off, as well as accessing the inbuilt tablet menu where you can adjust settings such as screen brightness and color settings. The stand that comes pre-installed with the Artus 24 Pro lets you set it at any position between 16 and 90 degrees, so you can maintain a healthy posture when working many hours. The 90 degree angle makes the tablet super convenient to use as a monitor when you're not necessarily working on it. The stylus for the Artist 24 Pro comes with 8192 pressure levels and is of course also battery free. It supports up to 60 degrees tilt and has two shortcut buttons that you can customize to your specific needs or software. The cap of the container that the stylus arrives in doubles as a stylus holder, but you can also use this little holder that you can install directly onto the tablet so you never lose your stylus when not being used. The Artist 24 Pro is very comfortable to work with, even on those days when I have to work 4 to 6 extra hours to meet a deadline. And because the Artist 24 Pro is powered from its own power source, you can easily use it with a laptop as well. In which case, you now also have a big monitor to work on. And you can connect your mouse and keyboard through the USB hub on the back side of the tablet. So I guess one of the big questions is, why become a digital creator or what are the benefits of starting to create digitally? And being a digital artist myself and have been on this journey almost since the beginning, I can honestly say that digital creations and digital art is no longer something far in the future, it is the present. We already have endless possibilities working on a computer. We can create everything from nothing. To start drawing or creating digitally has never been more accessible than right now. You have graphics tablets and software in every price range. Usability and compatibility is only getting better and better for each new product release. And imagine using a tool where your brushes never break or need replacements. You can even make your own custom brushes for your every need. You'll never run out of ink and you'll have an infinite amount of blank canvases just waiting there to be turned into something incredible and at no cost of our precious rainforests. By being a digital creator, you have the possibility to use crucial features such as the famous undo button, flipping your canvas to check your work for mistakes otherwise naked to your eye. You have the option to create with over 16 million colors, colors you'll never run out of and never have to pay for. And 
layers. You have an infinite amount of layers at your disposal so you can structure and restructure your work so it matches you and your workflow. And that is just a few features from the world of digital art. When you expand into video editing, vector design, 3D modeling and so on, you open up a whole new world of possibilities. And being a digital creator does not mean that we can't love traditional mediums as well. In fact, the ways you can combine digital with traditional mediums are endless. If digital creation seems a bit intimidating, use your traditional creations as your base work and enhance them further digitally. Digital creators are in more demand than ever before because the consumption of digital content is so high and you're only one great tool away from starting to create. Graphics tablets can be utilized in so many different fields of life, work and in art. XP Pen welcomes and encourages everyone to explore their creativity with the graphics tablets from XP Pen. So either begin your journey today or grow further as a digital creator with XP Pen. Digital creations know no limit. So don't limit yourself. Thanks so much to you guys for being here and listening to my enthusiastic <laughs> talk about drawing tablets. And thanks so much to XP Pen for inviting me here to share my knowledge and experience as a digital artist. There's more coming from XP Pen in just a second. So please stay tuned and watch more applications of graphics tablets in fields of animation, comics and games. Thanks so much, everyone.